And this is the diamond model. It's um, an unusual board in the sense that its proportions are minimal like, or its, its appearance is, yet the proportions are shorter than the usual 7276 minimal or even 80. And it's not a fish either. So it's somewhere between a short, you know, small wave, fishy kind of large surface area board and a mini mount. So it's got the paddling ease of a larger board, but definitely with much more manoeuvrability. And that manoeuvrability comes from two, well, three things really. The fin placement is further forward, so that's at 15 and, oh, hang on, 13 and 5 and a bit. So it's at least two inches further forward than normal fin position. There's a lot of area at the back, so the fins aren't dominating the turn. The surface area, surface area is uh, actually giving you the freedom, so that's one area. Uh, the area of the fins further forward, and just the, abs the, just the absence of um, length, it's not a big board. 6.9, this one I ride, obviously it's not a new one, with wax all over it. Uh, what is it? 6.9, 21, 2 and 7 sixteenths. So, um, flea bottom. It's kind of on the neutral side for the bottom shape, not really wanting to have anything to think about on the bottom. So the idea is to have all the glide and flow of a slightly bigger board, but with not so much length that you can't whip it around. And so these things on three to four foot basic kind of waves are almost unbeatable because you'll catch them almost on par with the mouth, yet you'll do and obviously well ahead of short borders but you will not be so restricted that you can't turn like a mouth or you will you know, do very slow gliding turns. This thing has glide but in balance with its manoeuvrability. I've had probably more fun on this board in the last five years than any board at all and I've got a huge range of boards. So it's, it's almost idiot proof and in a way it is headed, it's steered more towards the um, older guy like me, 40s to 50s. I'm just going to get some fins from here because they're part of the package the fins and these things are absolutely beautiful made by saw fins I'm going to give you a plug Greg Trotter these things are immaculate and uh, they have a pretty big effect obviously the side fins are quite deep so they're going to bite into the side of the wave strongly and that has that's what allows the use of the, uh, the large area Funny, I had this thing going in a second ago. Oh, bear with me for a second. Okay, so the, um, the depth of these fins is key to the grip that you're going to get, which offsets or, you know, balances up with the surface area. So they're, they're good, solid size of fins, but look at the flex in them. These things bend to the arc of the turn. And because of that, you end up being able to have quite a bit of, quite a bit of fin uh, and not having the drag that comes from a large base fin. And to enhance that and to sort of accentuate the, the glide, we've got a, a half moon kind of keel fin that only has the tab at the front fixed. It doesn't have a, a back tab. And so for that reason, look, this thing flexes. And that flex allows the board, sorry, allows the, the tail fin to kind of conform to the arc of the turn. The side fins are going through in their normal way. They've got a rake and flex, so they're bending to the arc of the turn. Likewise, the tail fin is flexing and bending. So that means everything becomes a little bit more fish-like, I guess, in the truest sense of the word fish like the tail of the fish. So there's the little package, the diamond, a glide mobile that you can actually rip on. So there you go.